You join the bridges together and then you just play with them and you've got Get picked on the lot saying I'm a freak and a spark, a weirdo. I'm right. saying I've got right. mental right. problems, I should be in a mental home. Keep, keep getting called names and everything. Owen is a very creative ten-year-old boy. In fact, his creativity is seen as one of the typical entrepreneurial characteristics of his condition. But when it comes to concentrating and paying attention, he really struggles. Owen has ADHD. That's Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, a condition that's only really been recognised in the UK over the last 10 to 15 years. Some experts, in fact, still question the disorder, putting it down to children just being naughty. Owen's mum, Michelle, however, has no doubt. Ever since he was young, it, it was more a point of he didn't sleep and wouldn't ever sleep and just always needed my attention all the time, no steam. Put it down to being a baby, you put it down to being the naughty twos. But when he was about two and a half, three, that's when I started to go to doctors saying there's just something not right here. And the main thing was he wouldn't stay still and he wouldn't sleep, he just never seemed to tire. And then as he went to school, it, it came even more apparent that Owen wasn't like his friends that were in his school and the reports back from the teachers and constantly being called up by the teachers. The condition in itself isn't really a problem. It's a condition in interaction with the environment and particularly in interaction with school. Dr Jonathan Lovett is a consultant child psychiatrist in Newcastle. He believes the rise in number of ADHD cases being diagnosed isn't just down to the increased medical understanding, but the rigid structure and pressures of today's schooling. A child can't sit still to learn. Then they fall behind academically, they uh, divert their energies into antisocial activities. The school stopped me from using that. When you get distracted and fidget, what do you get distracted by? People messing with rulers and messing with pencils and talking and then I get put off from my work and looking at the board and I get distracted. Owen has been called a freak. He has had the mickey took out of him because he's under a doctor, because he's on medication. And when Owen came home and told me they said you should be in a mental home, that reduced me to tears. When the doctor actually told you that Owen had ADHD, how did you feel? It was a relief to know that we had an answer. You also go through, um, am I just using this as an excuse? You do question it yourself. Am I just trying to label my child? Owen's now on medication, taking a stimulant which actually acts to calm him down. For the parents, the decision to put the child on these tablets is as much an ethical as a medical one. It could be lifelong and the long-term effects aren't actually known. I felt I was failing. I felt it was me not having the patience, me just trying to mask it over with a tablet. I still believe it's not just the tablet that will help him with his condition. Me and the doctor do explain to Owen that is just to give him that extra five seconds to stop, think, and then do things slowly. So instead of running up those stairs, that tablet will say, I'm going up the stairs, I'll walk. He's got that five seconds to maybe stop, slow down and think. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't.